second to uh, start up. All right, cool. So today what I want to talk about, just real quick, is uh, working with the map view and feature layers in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Um, a lot of times we'll get questions that'll pop up like, um, I need to know when the map is loaded and I need to know when everything on the map is done drawing, right? So uh, a couple things to that question. Uh, first of all, there's a, a difference between when the map has loaded all the layers, uh, requested the features for the layers, and it has all the data, right? That's like one step. Uh, but the next step is actually drawing that data on the map, right? And that's usually what people are interested in. You're interested in knowing when the map is done drawing. So like, for example, when the map loads, I need to know when that's done. If I zoom out, I would like to know when that's done. Again, when I zoom in, it'd be nice to know when that's done and so on and so forth, right? So uh, a couple ways you can do that. A really simple way to do that, uh, and you'll notice here, I'm, I'm bringing in some utilities here. I'm bringing in from the Ezra Core Watch Utils, I'm bringing in when false once and when true. Uh, for example, if I do something like uh, when true on the view, for example, uh, the view has a property called updating, right? And when that is done updating, uh, there's a callback you can put in here. And that callback is just going to, uh, it's actually just going to return the updating, oh geez, can type, the updating function. And I can go to console.log, oh my gosh, view done updating. All right, so there we go. We got our view done updating there. Uh, so if I, actually, no, I'm sorry, no. I want when false, not when true. Because if it's when true, then that means that uh, the view is still fetching some data, right? Something's happening in the background. Uh, you pan the map and it needs to, okay, so everything was done drawing and we saw the view was done updating. Move around, move around, view done updating and so forth. So this is a really, um, basic way to find out when everything on the map itself is done. Now, uh, there's one other thing you can do. Uh, this is for watching the view itself. Uh, maybe you're interested in knowing when each of these layers that's in the map is done. All right, you can see here I've got uh, one feature layer, two feature layers. All right, and maybe I, I wanna know when for whatever reason, I need to know when each of those feature layers themselves is done drawing. And not just the back base map, not just the whole map view, but some more fine-grained control. So you can do that. Uh, let me see here. I don't want to do this. There's a reason I brought in that one true. Well, we'll look at that in a second. But what you can do, let's say I want to make a, a function. I'm going to call it watch layer views it's gonna be an async function because i want to use a async await in here so what i want to do is i want to get some layers uh layer views for my layers so i'm going to kind of cheat a little bit i'm going to do an await on a promise.all and this is going to happen when um view dot when layer view and pass it the first layer say f lower no it's f uppercase l first layer and do the same thing for the second one so i'm gonna have a uh, layer view one layer view two Okay, so on the view, it's got a method uh, called when layer view. You pass it the layer, and it's going to give you back the layer view for that layer when it's created it, 
right? And it takes a little while for that layer B to get created. I mean, not a little while, but in uh, web JavaScript terms, you no. Know, milliseconds or so for the uh, layer view to get generated from the layer. So we're going to do that, right? So this is just in a way that I can go and get both of them at the same time instead of waiting for each individual one and take advantage of some async await um, niceties. Uh, it's just some nice ergonomics in here to grab both of these at the same time. So I got two layer views now, okay. So now what I can do is, um, again, I mentioned doing some fine grain control, right? So what I can do now is do when false uh, for layer view one updating. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, log out there view one is done updating all right uh, i can do the same thing for their view two now uh, yeah it's fine i'm used to working with vim or at least vs code but code heads great that's fine okay so let's clear that up so the view is done updating. Uh, ah, so I haven't called my watch layer views uh, function. So we'll come down here. And if I did this right and I have any typos, this should just work, I think. All right. So we got view done updating, view done updating. And no, I've done something wrong. Watch layer views. What did I do wrong? Someone tell me. Why is false? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong here. Uh, let's see. Am I even calling this? Oh, yeah. Right, let's do it up here. I don't think it matters where I do it. It's a function, so it's a. Because it's function, uh, I can hoist it. Hoist. It's getting hoisted. No, okay. All right, all right. So I, I don't know why, but I, I just I did something wrong. Let's do a console log here. And we'll just say layer views. Yay. No, what did I do? I must have done something wrong. No, I, of course. Oh, that should work. Yay. Oh, there it is. Did I have a typo somewhere? I must have had a typo somewhere, right? I don't know. Either way. My layers are there. I had that little bit of code, code snippet somewhere else, so I don't care. It works, man. All right, so the views done updating. So layer view one. Okay, so it's clear. Pan. See, so layer view one is done updating. Layer view two is done updating. When those are done updating, then the entire view itself is done updating. All right, so this is how you can get some more uh, fine-grained control over knowing when things are done on the map, uh, technically done drawing on the map. This isn't necessarily when uh, all the network requests and data is done loading, right? Uh, this is just when it's done drawing. And that's basically what you're typically worried about because when you the scenario you're gonna do this in is that you want the data to get loaded, the data to be drawn, and now you can start doing some sort of interactivity with the features that are on the map. And you want to maybe do a mouse over, uh, query the features that are under the mouse on pointer move. And you're gonna query the layer view for those features because they're already in the browser, right? We already have the data available to us. You can query them in the browser and it's gonna be super fast. It's really cool uh, client side uh, queries happening there. Um, so yeah, so 
that's what you want to do. All right, so this is a big question that I said that we get asked a lot. Uh, I need to know when things are done on the map. How do I do that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, here you go. This is it. All right, so uh, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Odonet. Uh, you can find my blog, odo.net. Uh, of course, and I'm all over the place, so feel free to hit me up. Uh, let me know what kind of questions you have regarding the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, uh, and go make some awesome maps. Thanks.